Hey guys, welcome to the next video and in this video I will show you a combination of both the techniques which I have showed you in the previous video. So in the previous video I have shown you the sales forecast, how you can change the sales forecast and the impact will be over here as well as uh, how you can create a divide between a date uh, so that you can do some sort of a comparison. Now in this video my plan is to include both these techniques and create some meaningful information. So things like, uh, let's say on a particular date, there is a revision in some sort of a metric. Say for example, forecast metric. You probably are going over the forecast or under the forecast based on the new information that you have got. Now what you want to do is probably put a divider that that's where you have got the information. And uh, with the help of the sales forecast you can revise the forecast so how you can do that so that you can clearly see the difference all right so for that what i'll do is create a sheet and over here um, what i need is um, first of all order date um, in columns all right probably did not come let's do it again and we want year, oh, I'm sorry, date, and in rows, we want sales, right? Okay, so we have the sales, and what I'll do is I'll just do a quick calculation for our running total so that it is a clear information for me. Now, let's say, for example, over here on November 1 <coughs> or maybe on July 1. You have got the information so you want to see the differentiation whether it is going up or it is going down as compared to this line based on the revision into the budget or into the forecast or any other metric of your interest so first thing is uh, creating a reference line so again it is very simple put a reference line on the over here and choose the parameter which we created earlier if you are not sure how we did it how i am doing it over here so you should visit my previous video where i have shown you how you can create it the help of parameter and once it is done and uh, just some parameter i'll make it dash to look at pretty click ok now here and i can go to this data tab here is my divide parameter and i will uh, show it over here and through here i can actually change it Maybe it is November, as I was mentioning, November 2015. So what I'll do is I will just put, and this line have now shifted to November 1. So that's a dynamic line that I have. All right. After that, um, I need the sales forecast. So I already created the sales forecast parameter. So if I go ahead and edit. This is the sales forecast parameter uh, where the minimum value is 0.5 that means 50% uh, to 100% and step size is 0 0.02 that's the configuration I have done and if I want I can show it over here um, show parameter control so over here I have the forecast all right so now what I need is uh, uh, first of all I will put it as a threshold that we are on the 90% of the forecast right now and I will create one calculated field to take this impact and show it over here to see the change so I will go ahead and create a calculated field and I will put its name as adjusted sales forecast all right so now uh, what we need is a formula which is if if our order date is less than and equals to this divide date right that's where that's what we want to know that what is the value prior to this and what is the value after this so if is a good so then what we want is sales right after that we'll put else sales that means that our order date is next to the divide date sales multiply with one plus the sales forecast parameter 
sales ID lead should come or probably it is because I need to use one as now it is coming sales forecast it was because of these brackets that I was using um, else sales forecast so after that and and uh, yeah so again just to show you what it is doing so this calculation is basically saying that if my order date which is this is prior to this date then just take sales whatever it is otherwise make an incremental change into the sales forecast based on what the number is all right so once we are here we'll click apply and okay so once i have the calculation created which is adjusted sales forecast what i need to do is uh, drag it on this running sum of sales to make it a combination axis and uh, yeah let's just take some of this now it is coming over here uh, as a normal line chart but what we want is aggregated so i'll just go in here and in quick table calculation click on the running total all right so now as you see right from here we have changed the sales forecast and your calculation is changing accordingly so if i'm making a little bit down you will see the value is will be coming down or going up as per the forecast changes so this way you can make the changes um, in, in a metric which you are really interested in seeing how the change is happening after a certain threshold date and with what intensity so intensity is over here and divide is over here now if i want i can just see this change from first of april and it will show me the change from 1st of April and keep showing me the divide between these two. So that's about how you can uh, how you can basically do a sales forecast and show the change uh, via the line chart. So that's pretty much all for this video and I'll meet you in the new video with the new topic.